What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and today we find ourselves on the edge of this nice little creek bank. We got this nice bridge back behind us, and we're gonna try to find some fall creek slabs for y'all today. Um, we need some rain. The creek is pretty low, so I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go. Normally, we don't catch any fish in this spot until we get like that first like really good fall rain, and we just have not had that yet. We are in the middle of like the longest drought Arkansas has had in a while. Um, so yeah, the creek is low, it's kind of muddy, but we are seeing a little bit of shad activity, which is promising. You know, you gotta have the bait fish to have the slabs. Mm -hmm. um, we're underneath the bridge today because it's the only spot that has some shade because if you look around, it's really bright, really sunny. We got cars going over the bridge. So we're starting off here next to this bridge because it's providing a lot of shade. And the crop you like to get in these shade lines, if you look around, it's really bright and sunny. And um, there's just not a whole lot of these little shade lines that they can use as ambush points on these little bait fish that are out here. It's also pretty deep right here. There's also that good vertical structure with those little um, bridge pilings. So overall, it's a great spot to start off and we'll kind of move around as needed. But anyways, guys, we're gonna get after it. It's also quite cold out here. Yeah. We, we're kind of we're kind of underdressed. We had a nice front last night and it's it's quite chilly with yeah, this it's wind. Chilly. But we're hopeful we'll be able to catch some fish. So guys, we hope that y'all are excited to join along with us on today's Creek Slab Fishing Mission. If so, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's go get some big old slabs. Let's go. Let's go. There we go, fish on. That feels like a good one, Jay. It is a good one. Oh Golly. Right up next to that piling. Don't want to lose that one. Wow. Yes, look at that. All right. All right, check that out. That is a really nice fish for this spot. Normally we come down here and catch just like unders, you know, under the legal limit size, but that's going to be a good keeper. That's like probably 11 inches right there. That is a solid black crappie right up underneath this bridge, fishing this shade line. Uh, we've been out here for about 10 minutes and that was the first bite we've had, but uh, hopefully we can catch a couple more to add to the bucket so we can cook them up here in a little bit. But that is a solid start. He bit the little little, little uh, crappie magnet. You see, you throw <laughs> trout magnets a lot for trout. I'm trying out the crappie magnets. I haven't really ever used these before. Um, that's just like a monkey milk chartreuse tail and a little orange 32nd ounce jig head. And he was all about it. That's crazy. Got cars driving over this bridge. They don't even know there's good slabs underneath it. <laughs> yeah, let's get him in this bucket. We gotta get some water in here. Here we go, first slab. We gotta get another bucket. We're still using that one we found out in the lake. <laughs> okay, so I actually want to try something really quick. So I wasn't using this just now with that last fish, but I've got these little crappie magnet little slab bites. I don't know if these things actually work or not, but I don't think they can hurt. Let me smell them real quick. They smell pretty smelly. If anything, get something for these fish to see and key in on. And we'll just see. We'll put this on and see if we start getting more bites. Just stick it on there on the end of the hook. Kind of blends in with the chartreuse tails. There's one. That's a good one too. That's another big one, Jay. Another big one. Another really good one. Oh my gosh. What is up with this place today? Get up here. Oh my gosh, what a slab. Look at that. And I had a little, I had a little, uh, snap, I had a little, uh, those little crappie bites on there, but it's not on there anymore. Oh, would you get a bite? Oh, ooh, you look like you're about to catch one. <laughs> Heck yeah, we moved away from the bridge, got here in the middle of the creek, and that is a stud. He's bigger than the last one, I think. Okay, so there's that fish I just caught. Really, really nice fish. Here's the one I first caught. He's definitely bigger. Yeah, he is. Those are two of the nicest crop I've caught down here in a long time. I'm not even kidding. Like, we're used to just catching dinks down at this spot. We were just trying to, just, to see if there was any down here, and we're not really getting bites. I mean, we've only got these two bites, uh, but they've been good fish. So, I mean, I'll take the quality over quantity if the quality is here. <laughs> okay, let's send them back into the bucket. That's a nice pair of fish. Yeah, it is. If nothing else, we got four sloppy patties out of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I have a feeling we're gonna catch a couple more. This north wind is chilly in the shade. I need a light jacket. Is it under? Oh, it's under. That's another big one. Oh, 
That's another big hit. Go, JJ. Oh, don't lose him. That's another keeper. Get up here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I couldn't tell if your was under or not. It was just suspended right below the surface. Not as big as yours, but it's a keeper. It's that's, a good one. That's a good one. She's got that kind of like sparkly confetti color on top of that bright stretcher's tail. And the water's kind of dingy. Yeah. It was like not as dingy underneath the bridge. It's I actually just switched to this color too. Yeah, and it's like second or third cast yeah. with it. It's a good one. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, three slabs in the bucket. Let's get some more. There's one. Oh, it's a tiny one. Tiny little fish. Well, that's what I'm more used to catching out here. <laughs> tiny little baby, four inch crappie. I saw my little, uh, my little crappie nibble go flying. That's not exactly what we're after today, but it's just, it's nice to catch something, you know? I'd rather catch a fish like that than not catch a fish at all. Let's get back out there. I got one, I got one, I got one. I took the bobber off and I got one. Yes, yes. Woo, how long has that been? An hour and a half? Like an hour and a half. Oh my gosh. I'm oh, about just about to leave. We were ready to go. We done fished over on that side of the bridge. We fished up that way in the woods. We fished that way in the woods. And we came back here, one last chance. We got ourselves another keeper. That's four good slabs. That's crazy. Just kind of changed up the presentation. I thought it was snagged. I couldn't even feel it. The wind was blowing so hard. I just took the bobber off and was just reeling this little crappy magnet real slow, kind of through the water column. And like I said, I didn't feel the bite. I'm not gonna lie. I did not feel the bite. <laughs> I just felt some weight and it was a good one. We're gonna try to replicate that before we head out of here. Gotta at least give it a couple more casts to make sure it's not just a fluke. Well, Jay, I definitely, whoa. I think that that last fish catch was definitely a fluke. Yeah, cause we kept trying and nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing's really happened at all out here. Like all those no. bites are pretty spread out and they definitely aren't grouped up in here just yet. But we did get some good quality fish. We got yeah. five total, four keepers, one little tiny little dinky guy. Pull a couple of those guys out so we can see them. Look at that guy. That one's nice. That's a slab. Is that the biggest one? I think it is the biggest Might one. Might be the biggest one. And then... We got, oh yeah, another nice good keeper. Yeah. Here, I'll help you out. Oh, thanks. Up you out. There you go. There we go. Look at there. A couple of nice, big old slab black crappie. No white crappie in here today. We normally just catch black crappie in yeah. here, which I think is honestly kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't care. They all taste the same. And those I'm just surprised, like, we got this size today. I know. Like, Are you in? Yeah, if you've watched any of our videos in the past and fish in this spot, you'll look and see that we do not catch good slabs here ever. No. It's always small fish. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm definitely pleased with that. Yeah. And I'm definitely excited about what's fixing to happen with those boys. We are about to Ooh. head to the house and we're gonna cook them up because we're hungry. Oh, Craigie yeah. Jay's hungry. So hungry. Oh, <laughs> I definitely think that we did pretty well in this spot, especially since like the odds really weren't in our favor to do very good out here today. <laughs> we got four good slabs. Let's head back to the house. Let's get them cleaned up and let's cook them up. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Well, aren't those the most delicious looking little morsels you've ever seen? <laughs> Look at that. That's as fresh as it gets. Just caught off the creek maybe an hour ago. Got them all cleaned up. Just That's going to just flake up so nicely. And we ain't messing around today, guys. We are making some fish tacos. So we're going to be cooking this fish. we got some hard, crunchy shells that are already in the oven. I've got this skillet already heated up. Whoa, it's kind of getting really hot. Hold on a second. Well, pay attention. Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh, cool. Got a little hot. We're all right. I didn't realize, I, I thought I turned it off, but I accidentally turned it on high. We'll be okay. Let that kind of cool down just a little bit. Or we'll just throw our fish right on there. What do you think? Probably just throw our fish on there. Yeah, I guess so. Might as well. It's already heated up. Anyways, you get the point. We're making fish tacos today. We're just gonna slap these guys on there. Get them sizzling. We're gonna throw all eight fillets in there. 
It should all fit. Ooh, I love that sizzle. Do we have room for one more? Man, that was perfect. I'm glad we got that last fish. That last fish was clutch. I feel that still yeah. hurt. That's perfect. Okay, so those shouldn't take very long at all. Probably like less than five minutes to get them all cooked up. And we're just gonna season them up with just some straight up taco seasoning. I feel like that's just, not maybe not the best way, but it's a really, really delicious way mm -hmm. to make some quick and dirty fish tacos. Um, if you pan over here, Jay actually ran to town and grabbed some white cheese dip, cheese dip some salsa to go with it. So, like I said, we were not messing around. Um, <laughs> we were really hungry. But anyways, guys, I gotta pay attention to these fish in this skillet. I don't wanna mess them up. And uh, we'll get back with you once we're ready to put the tacos all together. All right, Jay, are you pumped about these crappie tacos? I am so pumped. I am so hungry. They look so good. So there's the final products. We've got our crunchy tortilla shells. We've got our white crappie. We've got some tomato, some avocado. She's got some special sauces in there. And uh, we know it's gonna be good, but go ahead and do the official taste test. Gotta do the official taste test. We got the little small shells, so mm. it's not, you know, a big mess. Mm -hmm. Good? Real good? Very, very good. Does it feel like it's still swimming a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be swimming in my tummy. Mm. Is it everything that a Prairie J could ever want? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was so good. I know you've been craving some fish, which is good. Fish mm -hmm. is super good for you when you're pregnant, mm -hmm. right? And uh, that just looks delicious. And I'm ready to get me some of that. I know. I could just devour all of this, like, right now. Well, good thing we made, like, ten tacos. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that's going to be it for us today. We're going to take the rest of the afternoon off. We're going to sit back and enjoy these delicious crappie tacos that we got <laughs> from the creek today. And hopefully we'll be able to go back over there soon and catch mm -hmm. some more crappie. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to take some more um, swings in the weather. We have to have some more rain, maybe get a little bit colder because, I mean, we fished for, like, nearly, I don't know, like, almost three hours and yeah. only caught five fish. <laughs> So yeah, not great, but uh, hey, we, in the end reward, we got the, we got the fish that we needed for a nice lunch yeah, today. Yeah, the perfect amount. Yeah, but guys, if y'all are excited about all of our future crop fishing adventures we're gonna be going on uh, the rest of this fall and into winter, um, be sure to let us know down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future wild and crazy fishing adventures. We're, we're calling Jay, Jay. we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye guys.